For some reason, in the remastered version, it won't let you do that anymore. You, like, you just sandwich the dog in. Okay, so let go. Then... Go back over. Lower it. I grab it. No, gotta lower it. One more time. Bonk! Boom. Let it go. Okay, so I believe this will work now. The dog cannot get down. Even though, I mean, if he got down from one of them, then he would certainly do it for two, right? <laughs> yeah. That's why it doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, yeah, the puzzle doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I'll Makes Even more, I'll admit that. <laughs> more sense. Because I used to sandwich him. Like, when I used to play the original game, I used to just sandwich the dog in there. And that would work just fine. Well, no, not anymore. Ah, crap! That isn't enough! You must be able to sandwich it. You know what? I'm gonna sandwich it with it. Let's see if it works. Down. 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 Death defying dog. dog. Bad Bad dog. Okay, so let's do this again. You still have the meat? Yeah, the meat, the meat will stay in the car. For some reason, he didn't finish his steak dinner. <laughs> so... We can we can do this as many times as we want. You just gotta climb up and do it all over again, so that'll be fine, right? Okay, so now we have these guys taken care of. Let's just grab the green car down here. Okay, lower it. And grab it. Okay, let's Okay, so move it over to the left. Let it go. There you go. Okay, so that should work, right? Sandwich him in. He can't get anywhere. If that doesn't work, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> For some reason, the remastering decided to redo this puzzle, and I'm not sure why. Please let this work. Please let this work. Damn it! Really? No, but we have to. Okay, so. You must have to stack him real high. Yeah, you have to stack him really high, and he won't jump down. 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 Bad dog. Bad dog. You'd think if he was sandwiched between cars, you know, he wouldn't have enough leeway to be able to get out of the car, but yeah. I guess none of these cars have doors. Okay. And he's small enough that he could just get around. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Because the game is not giving me any other choice. Okay, so we're gonna grab this top one. We're gonna move it back. Yay! Okay, so go back to the pile. Just enough so we can grab the doggy. Okay. <laughs> You'd think this dog would realize what I'm doing, and he would just drop. No, he doesn't give a crap. All right, lower it so that we can grab the green car. Just stack like every freaking car. You can, technically. Yeah, just do that. That would take a lot of time though. Okay, so drop this car on. The then, grab this car. Okay. Now we'll try this with three cars. Three cars stacked high. He can't possibly get out of here, right? <laughs> well, I got a feeling he will. Well, if he does again, then I'm just going to leave him on the magnet. I really am. 
Oh. Yeah, he got off. Oh, you know what? Screw it. I'm leaving him on the damn mag. Yeah, maybe try that. Down. Down. The other thing I love is that occasionally through the barks you see bolts flying from his mouth. Like, this guy, this dog literally ate metal. <laughs> This dog does not give enough fucks that he ate metal. <laughs> because that's what he does. Can't reach it. Can't reach it. There we go. So we'll get back up here. And we're just gonna grab him and we're gonna we're gonna hoist him up as high as we possibly can. Okay, he's as high as he can possibly be. If this doesn't work, then I probably will just stack up all the cars. Or maybe I'll sandwich him in there. That, that'd that be really funny. Like, make this big five-car sandwich. <laughs> okay, so parts pile. There we oh, go. Finally. Nice forks. Where'd you find them? Right next to the knives and spoons. <laughs> well, that, that's it. Wait outside for a minute and I'll finish her up. I'm working on a surprise. I hate surprises. I hate surprises. All right, here she comes. <laughs> Am I cool or what? You're amazing. I should crash that thing every day. So what's the surprise? Oh, just your average everyday pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster. Oh, just one of those. You're serious? Yes. But only the vultures. I have my connections. Now, are you going to try this thing out or not? Ooh, I wish I had a camera. I wish I had some way of paying you back. Just beat it, will ya? You're scaring away my regular customers. Bye, Mo. Send me a postcard from the ambush. <laughs> Uh, yeah, probably it shouldn't have left her place on fire. She doesn't seem to care, though. <laughs> All right, back onto our journey. We have to go save the pole cats, Alex. We have to save them. Gotta save the pole cats. So because we triggered the security alarm and we fooled the cops, now they're looking for us. Yeah. So now we technically can't leave Melonweed because of the cops. Well, there's only one way to be able to solve this. And that is to tell them that we're somewhere they didn't expect. Yes, we're going to play Ding Dong Ditch. <laughs> how, do, how do people feel about that? All it takes to be able to, to throw off a six-car escort looking for you is come back to the exact same gas tower and trip the alarm. You hear that? He's back at the gas tower. He's got a lot of nerve, that piece of trash. Let's get him. All units, follow me. Or, as a smart person would do, two of you stay behind. <laughs> Three of us will go and see if we can apprehend him. No, we'll send all five cars. <laughs> ben, how'd you get behind us? Where are the suits? Corley's making a pit stop. He has a bladder the size of a thimble, man. Ripburger? Haven't seen him in a while. Ben, man, what's the deal? Did you find something up the road? Are we headed for trouble? No. We're in it. Put my head in a basket Cause I'd had a tank full When she trouble, blew trouble my there. gasket I Why? surely was thankful <laughs> Till I head for the skies up above <laughs> It's a woman with wheels that I love yeah. Come on, old man. I 
Gotcha. Now, do something incriminating, like ambush somebody. See ya then. How they get their news. I have a this vendetta against CNN today. Ow. You shouldn't have laughed at me in those board meetings, Malcolm. What a psycho. Wait, gotcha. is this a kid's game? Hey, <laughs> look what I found in the bushes. What is that? It's a chokehold. Come here and I'll demonstrate. It's got a camera. I'll get her. No, Nestor will take care of her. You have an important engagement with the rest of the Corley family. Right. But don't forget to destroy that camera. Yeah, yeah. I would, now I then, my Malcolm, like that. how about one for the road? Corley? Corley. <gasps> oh, no! Ben! Oh, jeez. <laughs> I guess Rip Berger couldn't wait for natural causes. Just like him to hit a man when his flies down. <laughs> Rip Berger did this to you? Yeah, he knew I was dying, and he knew that my will would put him out of a job. He wants to take over Corley Motors, Ben. Sell it off to foreigners, lay off workers, start making minivans. You understand me? Minivans! Oh. <coughs> oh, we're stuck. You gotta hurt him for me, Ben. Promise me you'll hurt him bad. I promise. <coughs> I want my daughter to take over the company. You have a daughter? Yeah. And she's a real mechanical genius, Ben. Rebuilt her first carburetor when she was four. Eh, I used to call her the diaper dynamo. <coughs> Find my daughter, Ben. Find Marine. Wait, what? Marine? No wonder she's a genius! Meanwhile... See, toasters do come in handy. That guy's wrecked. Rip Berger's way ahead of me. I just hope Marine can handle herself until I get there. Hmm. Gun, I understand. Why'd he bring a camera? Who does this guy work for? Corley Motors. Nestor, what's that moving over there by that pile? I don't know, Rip, but I think that pile is Bolus. Ah, yes. Now I remember. You're the smart one, aren't you? Yes. There's Moe's shack, but I don't see the limo. Hence why every night I want to take yes. over the world. Yes. Okay, a lot what? to digest there. On second thought, maybe I didn't. <laughs> so, Rosebud Malcolm, pays. <laughs> uh, Malcolm Corley's dead. Yeah. Killed by Adrian Ripburger. He thought he was in the clear because nobody saw him, but our, well, CNN reporter. You stop with the CNN reporter? <laughs> Jesus. Well, you actually don't know what organization she works for, so I just, just... I just pointed it out. Um, yeah, so the reporter actually caught him on camera. Yeah. So now he, uh, supposedly, Bolus, the big guy, was supposed to, to get rid of the footage, but as we can see, he took the camera with him to go murder Maureen, who we now know is the daughter of Malcolm Corley. Yeah. So we need to find Maureen before she gets killed. Here's Moe's picture of her and her Uncle Pete at his mink ranch. She said she went there whenever she needed to get away for a while. That's so, pretty much my only lead right now. You really can't get anything else aside from looking at the debris. But this is supposed to be your Looks hint. like someone searched this place in a hurry. Nothing left but debris, except for that smashed up camera. Back's open. No film inside. Hmm... Mo said she didn't have a camera. So maybe Mo actually has the footage. Yeah. Or has has the uh, photos in there. And the only hint that you get of like where she could have possibly gone is the picture that you got of the mink ranch. So that's obviously our next step, right? Yeah. You need to go find Maureen, and she probably went to the mink ranch to lay low. Yes, even I'll admit, the, the plot of this game goes really fast. It's okay. I understand, guys. So you can technically go... I, I believe you can go back, but... Well, I'll, I'll show you guys really quick. Since it is technically a crime scene now. You know, there was a murder that happened there. Uh, it's not very good. 
But look at that. Oh, jeez, that's a lot of lights. So much for returning to the scene of the crime. They'll be coming this way soon. I gotta get a plan. Fast. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get out of here. Okay, well, there's only really one other place we can go to on our bike. We can't stay at Melonweed. They'll find us. So, I guess it's back to the kickstand we go. Back to the kickstand, Alex. We get to have some more beer. Yeah. And before people give me crap about the whole kids game thing, this technically was the first LucasArts game to receive a T rating. Oh, cool. So, and this was when the ESRB had just barely been founded. And yes, it's not a kids game, even though a lot of the jokes could be kid friendly. It's as kid friendly as it could possibly be. But look at that, we have a we have a semi out here. So somebody's obviously visiting. This sucker's mine. Look, I really need a ride. Kick it. Look, I really need a ride. <laughs> Look, I really need a ride. Well, obviously the guy's not in there, so maybe he's in the kickstand. Hey, killer. What? Hey, it's cool. Your secret's safe with me. What secret? Haven't you been watching the news? Once again, our top story tonight... Malcolm Corley, owner of Corley Motors, was found dead at a rest stop just outside the town of Melonweed. Apparently, the benevolent patriarch and CEO was viciously beaten about the head and neck, savagely and without mercy. Police have arrested a notorious outlaw biker gang known as the Polecats. No. With the exception of their leader, who is still at large. Roadblocks have been set up along Highway 9 in an effort to apprehend this dangerous and violent criminal. We've been set up. Roadblocks suck. I shouldn't have left the gang there. Hey, I don't want to hear anything about it. You ain't making me an accessory after the fact. Just lay low, man. So yeah, this is the other consequence that happened. We left the polecats there. Right. And now they've been arrested. So now this is kind of Ben's motivation to, to solve this whole thing aside from saving Maureen is he needs to get his gang out of jail. So there you go. We have our motivation and we have a new character to be able to talk to named Emmett. So uh, let's go ahead and talk to him and see if you actually recognize who plays him. I can do that. So he's doing what he's doing is the whole knife thing yeah. that we've seen in numerous biker movies. Seems to have a lot of time on your hands. They do that in Aliens too. Yep. Uh, that that your truck out front? I need a ride and good talking to you. So. Seem to have a lot of time on your hands. Not to mention nicks and scratches. Yeah. <laughs> Am I distracting you? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. I can do that. Not gonna happen. Let me show you how to do that. Not gonna happen. All right, that your truck out front? That's your truck out front. I need a ride. I look like a cabbie to you. Get lost. They're not letting anyone through that roadblock anyway. Not even truckers. They turned me around, said police business only. Pigs. <laughs> look, I really need a look, ride. I really need a ride. Not gonna happen. Why? Because you're afraid of some cops? No, because I don't like you. So I'm just gonna, I'm curious, do you do you recognize who he is? Uh, is, is it you, Mark you Hamill? Will you will not. It's that Steve Bloom, really? No, it's Mark Hamill. Oh, yeah, I was actually asking, was it Yeah, Mark it's Hamill? Mark Hamill. Okay. Uh, believe it or not, he plays Emmett as well, and that threw me off. I, even I didn't know that as a kid. Um, when I saw the cast list uh, <sighs> when Remastered came out, I was like, no, Mark Hamill did not play this character. And yes, he did, in fact. Uh, see, I just killed a guy. I just killed a guy. I'm just about to. Yeah. I don't think that's good for the table. I don't think that's good for the table. Hey, Quahog. Yeah, Emmett? I'm gonna be knifing up your table for a while, all right? The customer with the knife is always right. So now you know the bartender's name, Quahog. Quahog. It's the good only time it ever gets you. referenced. Friendly folks you get in here. And it's not what you'd call an I'm okay, you're okay person. Ah, shut your hole, Quahog. Quahog. All right. Well, th this is a bit of a problem. So uh, there's really not too many other places you can visit aside can from. Can we steal the truck? Well, we could steal the truck. 
I mean, we could, but we could also visit the dumpster. <laughs>